Hey there team and welcome back to Sky Factory 4. Uh, this week's episode we're going to dive back into getting some trees and hopefully aiming at getting some bonsai pots. So if we look in the old advancement book here, we haven't got too far along to be fair, we've got quite a few things to advance with. So we're going to start straight away by trying to get a bone sapling, a bucket and a a cauldron i think the first thing we might make is a cauldron and then we're back from there because we need to use a cauldron to get a bone sapling and all these things but we've got quite a bit of stuff to get done today while i've been away i have gone ahead and got some more resources from the trees we have so a bit more cobblestone a bit more dirt a bit more gravel a bit more clay and things like that so we might even be able to make some grout and maybe get a um a furnace, a tinker smeltery up and running shortly, uh, but we're going to need to get some uh, lava for that guy to go, and we're going to need a metal bucket or a smelted bucket to more than a single use one to get that working. So anyway, what we're going to start off with is we're going to make ourselves a few more wooden planks, like so, quite a few more, and we're going to get ourselves a cauldron. We might actually grab two of those guys and we're going to stick them over here. Now with that we're going to go ahead and put, what was it? It was, to get some bone meal in the cauldron, we're going to put some gravel in there and some water. Oh, we need water. To get water we want to put some saplings. I thought it was saplings in there. Uh, that's right, you've got to put it in a crushing tub, don't you? So you put your saplings in the old crushing tub. Where'd they go? There. And then you jump on them. Once we get in the middle. Like so. And then we need to get ourselves a bucket. Um, and a chest. So we're going to need a bit of clay. Uh, that should be enough. Boom. Make ourselves a quick clay bucket, like so. And we don't actually need to fire that guy because we're not going to do anything with it. So, oop, that didn't work. We do need to fire it, apparently. Like so. We've been smashing a few acorns for food we're a bit hungry there we go we've got ourselves a clay bucket so we should no we haven't got enough saplings in there yet we've got plenty of saplings so that's not a biggie at all we've got ourselves a bucket of water Boom. so we can put that in there and then we need to go ahead and we'll grab out those saplings we need to go ahead and put these in there. Is it a specific type of sapling to get bone meal? Oh, it's gravel. That's right. So we'll go ahead and we'll grab ourselves. We need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight bone meal. Oh, that gives us way more than I was expecting. That's great those away and then can we do that in here like so and we've got ourselves a bone sapling nice so what we'll do is we'll get rid of this guy put a bone sapling down and then we're going to go ahead and harvest some of these trees repair our crook like so What we need to work on getting is getting some lava as well so that we can get um, a cobblestone generator up and running, which would be great. So we might even look at doing that too, real quick. We'll put some stuff away, like so. Um, those, the flint, and we'll put the book away because I tend to lose those bad boys, which is never great. Um, so, cobblestone generator. Is 
for these guys here. So the basic cobblestone gen tier one, we just need some cobblestone. What is that? A piece of glass and a bucket of lava and a bucket of water. So we're gonna need, do we need metal buckets or can we get away with clay? Tin, rubber, I'm hoping we can get away with clay. Hmm, maybe we can't, maybe we can't create that guy until we've got a metal bucket. I wonder if it's worth trying. Quartz, obsidian, it seems to have every other type of bucket except clay so far. Aluminium, yeah, I don't think I've seen clay. I definitely think it's worth trying though. Jeez, we're hungry. So many leaves. Why is everything growing all at once? Boom, boom, boom. We might just not replant these guys for now. There's nothing that we need except for the bone meal tree. What we'll do is we'll create ourselves a metal cauldron. Uh, not a metal cauldron, a cobblestone cauldron. So that we can go ahead and with a torch, like so. Where do we want to put it? Put it here? Sure. Like that, and then like so. And now we should be able to go ahead and make some lava if we want to. But do we have, we'll make another bucket. Uh, like so, one of you, one of you. Boom, boom, boom. And we will fire that in there. And we'll go ahead and have we got enough? We do not have quite enough water. There we go, we got ourselves a bucket of water. We'll fill up that one. Oh no, we want that, don't we? We want a bucket of water. We need that bucket. We'll go ahead and put... Have we got four more cobblestone? We should do that. Oh, that's gravel. We've got plenty of cobblestone. Four of those into here. Boom, 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 boom. Now there should be a bucket of lava, like so. Now, can we make this guy? Oh, we need glass. So do we have a sand tree? is the next thing we don't. Okay, we need to look at getting a sand set. We'll put these guys away for now. Um, and that, 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 and that. And we'll see if we can get ourselves a, oh, we need to look, because I can't remember how to make them. A sand sapling. The sand sapling is there. So it should be next on the list, effectively. So this guy. So it is just a petrified sapling surrounded by sand acorns and sand acorns are made in the crushing tub with gravel acorns. So we can do that. So we just need some slide on gravel acorns, which we've got. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then we want to go ahead and we shall grab that out and we'll put those in. we lose two? No, we got them. Nice. Okay, so then it is just that, and we have ourselves a sand sapling. Nice. Okay, so that's there. We'll go ahead and we'll put this one here. What's that? That is a gravel tree. We'll get rid of that guy, I think. So, like so. Get rid of him for now. We'll do a little dance and try and get the old bone and sand saplings to grow. We probably need the sand sapling before we need the bone sapling to be fair. So we'll get rid of these guys and see if we can get him to grow. We'll repair, oh that didn't work. We want to repair our crook as well. Like so. 
all we need is one bit of sand to make some glass, so we should be able to do that, hopefully, off one tree. Or maybe not quite. Did we get another acorn? We did not. Okay, one more. Oh, look at that, we've grown. And boom, we've got enough. Nice. Okay, so that over there, we want sand, like so, like so, and boom, we have one piece of sand, a whopping one piece. Okay, so we'll craft that into glass, smelt that, sorry, into glass, and then hopefully we should be away building our cobblestone generator. That would be nice if this works. I'm just not sure if we need metal buckets. Uh, so we need that one, that one, that, and some cobblestone, I think. Oh, we probably could have done that with our chest connected, but anyway. So, generate... Oh, does that bring up the cobble generators? It does. So... Oh, I don't think it works. There's just glass, cobblestone, and the buckets. We'll put them in. So, cobblestone, cobblestone, glass, bucket, bucket. Uh, that's not cool. <gasps> it does! Yes! Nice. We only get one bucket back, but that's cool. We have a cobblestone generator, so let's go ahead. That's awesome. That's really made my day. I didn't think that was going to work. Um, go ahead and make a chest. And then, where do we want to put this? We'll put this, uh, we kind of want it nearby. Hmm. It's going to look funny if we put it there. Oh, did you like the angled fences? I liked the angled fences. I thought they were neat. Straight across on the angle. I thought they were quite cool. Um, we'll put it at the end here for now. We can always move it later on because we have this cool mod where it lets you pick stuff up and carry it around, which is really cool. So it's just a shift right click and then right click to put it back down again. I thought it was really neat. But um, effectively, we do actually want to pick that up and put that, say, here. And then we want to put our cobblestone generator down, pick that up, and put it on top. And now, by rights, we should be getting cobblestone. So we don't need cobble trees anymore effectively, um, unless we need them to create other things. So that's awesome. And we now have an infinite building resource, so really, really cool. Cobble for days. Okay, what we were hoping to work on was getting... I really should get an axe. An axe would be so helpful. To do that, we should get into Tinkers. But everybody's seen Tinkers done so much, so I might even just do that off camera, um, and that way you don't have to watch. Uh, we can just get some tools. We have got the progression mod for Tinkers in this pack, so that means that when you when you do maker tools, they do level up, which is pretty neat. Boom. We have another one. Oh, I did not use my crook, did I? I went too far. Oops. Oh well. Did we get a bone sapling? That's a sand. Oh, that's, that's, oh no, we did. Thank goodness, I thought we didn't. I was going to say, that's so bad. Okay, we did. It's all good. It's all gravy. Uh, what we'll do later on, when we get a bit more organised, is we'll put a, put together a separate chest. Just, oh, let's do that now, actually, for our sapling, so that we've always got one of every sapling, because I think that's a smart plan. So this will be our sapling chest. We're going to put that just over here somewhere. It doesn't need to be nearby. And we're going to put one bone, one sand. Uh, we want a dirt. Oops. A clay, a gravel, a petrified bone, sand, gravel, I think that's everything, so one, two, th three, four, no, we've got gravel there, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, and five, six is already there, yes, 
Cool. So that's all our saplings. We'll organize those. And as we progress and get more and more saplings, we will keep adding them to that chest so that we have got uh, one of each so that we can never completely lose it. Cool. Okay, so progressing from there, I was hoping to get bonsai pots today. Uh, that may be a bit of a stretch. We've got clay, we need bricks. Uh, to get hoppings, we need iron. We can get bonsai pots, which I guess makes our trees small, but they don't produce as much. Um, I'm not sure if that's actually the way to go yet. I think we're better to go straight to hopping bonsais. What we could do, now that we have uh, the bone meal trees, is do we have much bone meal? We have one piece. Well, I'll show you what I mean. Basically, you can make fertilized soil with one bone meal and one piece of dirt. So fertilized soil is fertilized farmland is... Mm, I don't think it's either of those. Soil. It is fertile soil from Rustic. It's this guy here. Uh, so basically that is just one piece of bone meal and one dirt. And it upgrades the bonsai growth and loot drops. Uh, so I guess it's... Hmm, I guess it doesn't really matter for ground. I wasn't going to put it in the bonsai pots just yet. I was just going to put it on the ground here. Hmm... Is it worth it? It's probably not worth it right now. Anyway, we'll look at what we can move on to. Cotton tree. Hmm, do we need the cotton tree? We do to progress. So let's let's look at getting a cotton tree. Just check the time. Uh, so cotton tree. That didn't work at all, did it? The cottonwood sapling. So for that, we need a jungle sapling surrounded by cottonwood acorns or three bone meal, some vines, and a jungle sapling. So vines can be done in the drying rack, which is jungle saplings. So to get jungle saplings, uh, jungle saplings are clay saplings in mud. And mud is just dirt and water, and water is just stuff smushed in the sapling, smushed in the crushing tub. So let's grab a piece of dirt. We don't need to go ahead. Oh, we've got heaps of bone meal. We don't need to go ahead and make that into um, fertilized soil yet. So which sapling was it in there? Cottonwood. Um, no, so it was to get jungle in there. It was a clay sapling. Clay sapling, we've got heaps of those. How about we make like six if we can? So we need more. So that's used all of the water. That's fine. We've got heaps of saplings. So if we grab, say, these 14 dirt ones. still making water I can't tell it is we still got a bucket we do and then um, dirt in there well, I don't know why that didn't take our dirt but we only want one piece just to, so that makes it full of mud uh, we've got our jungles clays Makes five. Five will probably do for now, to be fair. So, cottonwood is one jungle, um, one set of vines which can be a jungle wood dried. So, we can do that. We can get that on the drying rack. Boom, like so. Vines and three bone meal. So, we can do one jungle. One, two, three, and then we just need the vines once they dry out. So they're 35% done, so we're getting there. Okay, let's go and cut this down. Boom. Nice, so we've got that. Oh, there we go. 
got some more stuff. We'll put that away. All of the things. Sand, bone, gravel. Uh, gravel saplings. We'll get this guy chopped down as well while that's finishing off. And boom. Right, we want to go ahead and plant that again and get some of this stuff going. We need really need to get some of the sand so that we've got... Um, what can I do? I can repair that there, can't I? Like so. Because we have not got any sand at all. I will go ahead and collect a bunch of sand uh, in between this episode and the next because it doesn't look like we're quite going to get to our, our bonsai trees. Right, uh, bonsai pots. Right, we've got uh, the vines. Doesn't go there, it goes there. And nice, we have our cottonwood sapling. Lovely. So we can go ahead and put that guy down. And we're slowly progressing. What do we need next? We've got cottonwood. We need tin and oh, a coal sapling. I really want to get iron because as soon as we've got iron, we can make hopping bonsais. And once we've got hopping bonsais, we're pretty much away because things just craft, uh, resources just make themselves. And then we just need to work our way through the saplings. So uh, what do we need to get iron? Iron's way over here. We need to get some crafting stuff. What's what's involved in getting coal, I wonder? Coal, sapling, tin, string, and a bead. A bead would be nice as well to sleep the nights away. So, coal, sapling. It's pretty dark. So, a coal, sapling, we smelt a birch sapling. So, to get a birch sapling, we can do in there, which is just a sand sapling, in a water bottle so okay we can do that so jungle saplings can go away we've got plenty of sand saplings we just need one of those and some water which we can do yet again with our bucket we've got a full bucket there this only takes one bottle Boom. and we have a birch and then we just want to smelt it and this should by rights create a coal sapling I'm burning saplings, by the way, just because we have so freaking many saplings. I know they're probably not the most efficient, but we have so, so many of them that I just figured, why not? And we have a coal sapling. Another uh, thing checked off. That's nice. Okay, what's next? We're smashing through these now. So we've got a coal. Obtain tin by crafting tin amber. Use the Tinker's Complement Melter or Smeltery to melt it into molten tin and pour it into a casting basin or cast. So we can get lava now. We can get copious amounts of lava because we have one of these. Uh, we can make a tin bucket. I'm just wondering, I can't remember, does lava consume a clay bucket? I think it does, doesn't it? But we have copious amounts of clay to make multiple clay buckets until we can get some tin. I think we might make a smeltery. That might be the go. I think. Even if it's just a small, small smeltery for now, it's not going to matter. Hmm. Decisions, decisions. That's not what I wanted. They're not cooked. They're not cooked. Uh, what was the next progression? Tin man. Obtain string. Can we make shears? What's, what can we use to make shears, I wonder? There's, that's iron. Wooden shears. Look at that. Sticks and planks. Okay, let's make some wooden shears. Uh, so some sticks and we'll make some of these and then we want our cottonwood sapling bone, bone, sand, cottonwood 
see if we can get you to grow. Get some leaves. And then this should be that achievement completed as well. Dry some leaves and then we should have string. And then once we get enough string, we can make a bed as well. So I probably want to make some more drying racks if possible. I wonder if I just put more fences up there and make some more drying racks. Da, da, da. Da, da, da. That did not make many. I don't really want one more. Three, did I, uh, we'll take four. I'm gonna always buff on over the edge if that's the case. No, we do have four, okay. So can we, I wonder, That works, they are kind of floating in thin air, but it does work. Okay, so we've got some string, nice. So we'll grab some more leaves. Yet again, another thing I'll go ahead and do in between episodes will be make a bunch of string so that uh, we can make beds and things, because with that, we can now go ahead and we should be able to just craft some wool, like so. And then a couple more of those, and we've got a bed. And then we can sleep the night away, which is great. Can't wait to get some of those resources automated so that we can... What did I lose there? Had I already collected it? We've got sand, sand, bone, and coal. We'll put the cotton tree back up, I think. Bone, sand... Sand. Where's our cotton? Hmm. Have we lost that sapling? Sand, sand, bone, and coal. Well, that's not good if we have. Bone, sand, nothing. Dirt. Clay, gravel, petrified. Gosh damn it. Ah, I'll go ahead and make another one of those off camera. Cottonwood. Ah, oh, because I collected all the leaves and we hadn't got a sapling yet and I shared them all. That was silly. Okay, I'll go ahead and make one of them uh, off camera, but that's, that's okay. We'll sort that out. It's not a biggie. But what we will do is go ahead and grab these guys and we will make ourselves two more bits of wool like so and we'll get some planks and where did that wool go? Went in the chest didn't it? Get out of, get out of there. There it goes. We'll make ourselves a bed and then we can sleep the night away. We're going to put that over by our chest over here nap time I do like all these achievements they're very cool very clever nice so we've got that done we've got lots of cobblestone going on in there um, I think guys what we might do is we might pull the pin there we haven't quite got to our hopping bonsais what we can do how about this because I've already thought of a name for this episode and we haven't quite got there what i'm going to do is we're going to go ahead and we're going to make some bonsai pots so effectively what we need for bonsai pots is we need a butt ton of clay oh here goes the music so we need quite a bit of clay we'll say that much for now and then we go like so oh we need to make it into bricks so that's going to make eight oh hang on if we do Yep. One, two. How about we make nine? Yeah, like so. It's gonna make ten, that's fine. We'll put those in there. We'll get those smelted up. And once we have got five of those smelted into bricks, I'll show you quickly how we make a bonsai pot. Effectively what we just did. Uh, in the crafting grid and basically what you can do is you can put a piece of dirt in there 
and we'll make a piece of fertilized dirt so that we get a bit more drops one of those or one piece of bone meal and we'll just do this as standard fertile soil sorry not fertilized dirt i keep mucking that up just need two more and then we'll go ahead and we'll throw oh what do we want to throw we're going to need bone meal. We're probably going to need sand, one of the most. So we'll throw some sand in there. These probably are more efficient as I don't have to crook them. I just have to click them, I think. Oh, I do like this little display this of the furnace. That is pretty neat. Tell me how many have been smelted, what's left of each item. That is pretty cool. Okay, so five of these guys in there like so. So that is a standard bonsai pot. So basically, if I hold shift, well, there you go. It doesn't really tell you a lot, does it? Use JEI to look up the drop rates, etc. So effectively, you put a piece of dirt and you put a sapling into this, it will grow to a maturity and then it will sit there waiting for you to break it. As soon as you add this with a hopper, a metal hopper, uh, it turns into a hopping bonsai. You can then place it on top of a chest or some other inventory, including uh, the likes of a simple storage system or an import bus or something, and that tree will automatically break and all of the drops will go into said inventory. So really, really neat. Uh, but for now, basically what we can do is we can place these guys like so. We can put our soil in there like so. And then I thought I grabbed a sapling, I did. We can put a sapling in like that. And as you can see, it's growing at quite a rate. So this guy will just grow until he's mature and then he will stop. So we're 50% there, hasn't taken long at all. Dun, 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 dun. Almost done. And then he will just stop. Now, I think I may need an axe. Yes, shift, yeah, shift just picks him up. I think I need an axe in my hand. I'll just craft a wooden axe just for shits and gigs. There we go. Now with the axe in my hand, if I right click, all the drops come out and he starts growing again. And it uses some durability on the axe. But we got some stuff. What you will find is you get much reduced drops compared to chopping down a tree uh, so that's something to be aware of it grows much faster but you get much much reduced drops uh, and you effectively just have to stand here and or come by every few seconds and right click that bird boy but pretty neat anyway guys thanks for watching i'm going to leave it there and we'll see you next episode